you talk about the importance of hanging a deer and how long you how long a processor may hang a deer and how long you could hang a deer if you were doing it at your home and how and the benefits of that? Okay. When we are talking about domestic livestock, particularly beef, we think about hanging the beef for seven days, 14 days, 30 days, dry aging it. That's where you get that really high quality steak that you get at the store that can, commands a very high price or that you get from a mail order place that commands a very high price or from a restaurant, again, that commands a very high price. Uh, because there are enzymes in the meat that when you hang the carcass, let it uh, continue in refrigerated temperatures for a period of time, are going to break down the, the structure of that muscle and it's going to make the meat more tender and it may develop some flavor that you know, people do like. Uh, you can do the same thing in a vacuum package that you do from hanging a carcass also. And that's why you will have in a large packing plant, they will go ahead and cut up the beef 24 to 48 hours after um, the animal's been butchered. Vacuum package the major cuts and those will get boxed up and shipped off to various distribution points. And oftentimes it will be two weeks or a month before that product is offered for retail sale. So the meat is going to benefit from aging. You can do the same thing with a deer, but I would say that hanging a carcass is not necessarily a good idea because when we're talking about domestic livestock that is slaughtered in a controlled environment where cleanliness and sanitation is of very high importance, when we're talking about a hunter harvested deer, we've got a bullet or bullets, arrow or arrows that have went from the outside of the animal to the inside of the animal and carry contamination from the outside environment or potentially from the digestive tract. Those areas have, are contaminated and those bacteria can grow from the blood, can grow from the meat tissue. It's a good food source for them. And by you letting that hang, you're going to increase the likelihood of portions of that carcass spoiling. Hanging carcass uh, from a deer that shot through the shoulder, for example, if you were to cut that up within a day or two, you can trim away just a little bit of the area that's affected by the shot and have a good yield of meat. Mm -hmm. If you let that hang for a week or two weeks, you're going to have considerably more meat that you're going to have to trim away because that spoilage will spread. Okay. And also, most people don't have access on their own to an area that they can keep that carcass at a refrigerated temperature that is before, below 41 degrees Fahrenheit for an extended period of time. Now, of course, if you live in an area that the outside temperatures are you know, below freezing, you can let the carcass hang out there in the outside environment or in an unheated shed, mm -hmm. but you want to make sure that you're monitoring the temperature. What I would suggest that you do is go ahead and cut up that carcass as soon as you're able to, you know, within a day or two after harvest, or if it's real warm, maybe the day of harvest. And a lot of people have access to the home vacuum packagers. You can vacuum package that whole deer loin or deer chops or roasts or stew meat and put that in a refrigerator, which is going to keep it at appropriate temperature let that vacuum package meat sit there for a week, 10 days, two weeks, and then go ahead and freeze it. And you will take advantage of you know, the benefits of aging, but you haven't run the risk of having your carcass spoil before you can get it worked up. The mm -hmm. other alternative is if you don't have a vacuum packager, if you have a cooler with a drain, you can put ice in that cooler and lay that deer loin or those deer leg roasts on top of the ice, keep the drain open so that the water drains out and then that um, 
that meat, you can, it'll be kept at a, a refrigerated temperature and you can go ahead and age the meat that way. But you want to keep it dry as you can. So, you know, have a drain so that that meat doesn't just sink down into to cold water.